I'm here again with Brian Burke, City Farmer TV, and we've moved across the basement area to the gray water system. Give me a brief story about this, Brian. Okay, Michael. Thank you. Well, uh, again, when we designed this building, uh, we wanted it to be as environmentally friendly as we could afford. And uh, one of the things we want to do is a gray water recycling system. And now every summer we're going on water rationing and the cost of uh, putting in new reservoirs in Vancouver to accommodate future uh, increase in population uh, on the order of one to two million people in the foreseeable future is such that it may be cheaper to recycle our water and keep the same reservoirs that we have rather than build an entire new water system for billions of dollars. It may be better to in invest that money in water recycling. So How through, does, yeah. through CMHC, yeah. uh, we have uh, one of Canada's very first uh, residential gray water recycling systems and basically all of our water that is collected from the sinks, the bathtubs, and the showers is uh, collected and goes through a five-stage cleaning process and then it goes back into the toilets. And that's and what these big barrels are, the cleaners? Yeah, exactly. These are all of the uh, different stages of uh, filtration. They're biological um, uh, colonies of, uh, of creatures that absorb food particles and uh, different chemicals in the, in the uh, gray water and then clean it. We put it through a uh, disinfection process. Does it start on this, or does it start? Uh, this is the first. Uh, this is the first series of tanks, which yep. are called uh, Waterloo uh, uh, biofilters. Right. And then it goes through a. Um, uh, in this stainless steel tank, it goes through a three-stage filtration. First through uh, a coal medium, and then through a sand, a slow sand uh, filtration. And finally, after the slow sand, it goes into this finished tank ah, right here. Let's take a peek. And then you can look inside. And here is the finished uh, gray water, which is then pumped back to uh, uh, use for toilet flushing. And the biggest use of water that we do in, in the residential world is uh, flushing our toilets. On mm -hmm. average, we flush the toilet five times a day. And uh, that is the largest amount of water that we're individually responsible for. And this is gray water from showers and sinks in yep. the building? Yeah. And none of the rainwater is in this particular mix? Uh, we do um, harvest our rainwater in, in the, the city of uh, Vancouver's uh, rainwater barrels. Okay, but they don't come into this system. Uh, but actually we are considering rainwater harvesting. My, my cousin on Salt Spring Island, where they have a real water shortage in the summertime, is harvesting his entire water supply from rainwater and putting it through a very simple uh, cleaning process, simpler than, than the one that we have here. Uh, it's more complicated to, to clean gray water, uh, and if you're just cleaning rainwater, it's easier. So actually, we're considering uh, what the economics of, of harvesting rainwater could be, and it may be, you know, we have to spend $6,000 a year on our water for our community of 35 people. And uh, it's possible that we could invest that $6,000 in harvesting rainwater. And in fact, it might even be cheaper. Uh, it'd be interesting too, that's one of the things we're researching to see if uh, it's actually cheaper to harvest rainwater. I'm gonna have to come back and talk to you about that. Thanks, Brian, again. Take care. All righty.